have been thinking about this five minutes of my life for about a year and a half now. And, uh, so I guess I'll just dive right in. Is this, can you all hear me? Table 22. Have you got me? All right. Back corner. All right. Here we go. This past year, as incoming president, I was asked on numerous occasions what my goals would be, what my platform was going to be during my time as chamber president. I spent quite a bit of time thinking about this, and ultimately, I end up reflecting back on my experiences here in the Highlands over the past six years. I guess on that note, I should back up and share a story with you. It wasn't that long ago that Wendy and I were sitting with our friends in Phoenix, telling them that we were picking up and heading east. We had purchased a building in the mountains of Virginia and decided to rehab the place and open a pub. Needless to say, they were a bit shocked. Moving to a town of 4,000 from a city of 4 million, and then choosing to open a restaurant on top of that. Well, that was bound to be difficult, not to mention risky. But even back then, I remember telling them, no, it's going to be good. There's something about this town and this area that's really cool. I can't put my finger on it, but trust me, it's cool. We finally got to Clifton Forge, rolled up our sleeves, and got to work in early 2009. Once here, it didn't take long to figure out what that cool thing was. It became very clear that there was a fantastic sense of community. People genuinely cared about their town and their surroundings. Just days after arriving, Teresa Hammond knocked on her door, introduced herself, and said, welcome to the area. I'm from the chamber. What can we do to help you? In the days and weeks following, these types of visits occurred on a regular basis. Herb Sladen from the EDC and Kathy Bryant from Highlands Community Bank offered their assistance. Lisa Schottmeyer lent a hand in getting our business set up. Racy and Dean was busy shopping for our insurance needs. And before long, we had the staff of True Value shuttling supplies up and down the Main Street sidewalks to our building. Both Bennett's and Neathawk Lumber Companies helped us with materials, and many local residents stopped by, some even daily. <laughs> <laughs> Counting the days till the opening of that pub. Just to check in, and many with the same message, we're so glad you're here. Please don't hesitate to ask if there's anything we can do to help. During this same time period, I was invited as a guest of the chamber to attend my first annual dinner. At this point, I knew only a handful of attendees, so I spent much of the evening sitting back, observing the festivities. Even then, I could see the enthusiasm, enjoyment, and spirited conversation of those in attendance. Perhaps happy hour had a little to do with that, but still, <laughs> the connectedness of the community was very evident. So fast forward six years, and here we are together again. I look around the room tonight, and I see that same spirit is still so present. Some of the faces are the same, and some are new. But this year, I have the pleasure of knowing so many more of you. I even have the honor of calling some of you my friends. Throughout the past six years, I've continued to be amazed at the remarkable progress that has been present year in and year out in the Highlands. At the top of the list, I really have to attribute this to the power of volunteerism. It is alive and well, and capital V in this community, volunteerism is amazing. To say it's in vogue in our area would be an understatement. That would denote seasonal or short-term trend. But in our community, that couldn't be further from the truth. Volunteerism is alive and well, and I dare say growing. To list all of the amazing organizations and individuals that I see regularly giving of their time would take all night. But just to highlight a few things and help make my point here, some examples are, in our county, in the Allegheny Highlands, we have multiple arts, music, and theater facilities providing continuous programming, most of it with the efforts of an all-volunteer staff. We have Main Street organizations continuously promoting area businesses and attractions. And how about the Masonic Theater, which is on the brink of rebirth after years of hard work and thousands of volunteer hours to get it to that point? And within the last year, we've begun to see the Vision 2025 program come alive. Thanks to a generous contribution from the Allegheny Foundation, volunteers have been able to bring this program to life, 
creating a roadmap and a shared vision for the progress and prosperity of our area as we look to the future. Equally as important as these individual volunteers, I also credit the dedication of our council and board members, governmental bodies, and area business owners. For example, take a look at our local hospital, making improvements with the addition of state-of-the-art MRI and emergency rooms. Not to mention, <clears throat> not because that they had to, but because that they care about the community that they serve and want to provide the best possible care. How about CSX, agreeing to come to the table and work with local representatives in an effort to help our community expand passenger rail service to the Highlands. Our local school boards are working together, setting aside their differences, negotiating for a more unified and progressive school system in an effort to provide our children with the best possible 21st century education. And following that, we have a top-notch community college right in our backyard, award-winning at that. I see DSLCC is updating their curriculum to meet the needs of our local businesses as well as an ever-changing job market. These are just a few of the highlights that come to mind as I think about all the different ways each of us are contributing. All in our own way, but with that common thread that binds us all here tonight. Community, prosperity, and future. As I bring this full circle and back to the original question, what is my platform? What are my goals for myself and for this group in 2015? Well, you have clearly answered that question for me. Quite simply, I will follow your lead. As I have highlighted here, the members of this chamber have begun moving down a path of progress. I will work alongside each of you, supporting you as a representative of the chamber, as a local business owner, and as a community leader and volunteer. But mostly, I will be here as someone who is dedicated and passionate about continuing to help the Allegheny Highlands and help it pro prosper, excuse me, to give back to this community which has given me so much in these last six years. So that being said, I wouldn't be a tavern owner if I didn't conclude with a toast. Everybody glasses up, please join me. First, I toast to you, all of you, the movers and shakers, volunteers, and those that care enough to roll up your sleeves, get out there, participate, and make a difference. Second, I toast to this dedicated staff, this chamber staff that we have, and without whom so much of this would not be possible. And finally, to our wonderful community in the Allegheny Highlands. May 2015 be prosperous for us all. Cheers. Cheers.